If I tell you to close your eyes and think about sex to piso, what comes to your mind? Me, the total stoned, trying unsuccessfully to open the the door to my hotel room in Guadalajara. What your favorite sex to piso cover and the one you dislike the most? I really like the the covers they. made for my book uh, Missing Kissinger where you have uh, somebody uh, who has on his plate a uh, brain and uh, my least favorite one was uh, the one on th- of suddenly a knock on the door where you have a gun pointed at you because it seemed a bit too general. You wrote p- uh, Pipelines in 1992. How do you feel about this collection of stories 24 years later? Well, it's 25 years later. I know that the Sexto people, the Sexto piece of people don't count well. Uh, and uh, it feels strange because there are many things that I see in it that uh, uh, I feel that today I would have done much better. And there are things in it that I kind of yearn and miss because I, because I feel that the energy behind it and the, the fact that there were no doubts about anything is something that I can actually miss. I guess it's this kind of feeling that every older person has looking at his youth. You know, I was young and not always smart, but full power. A cliche question. You have to save one of your stories for the immortal library of the world. Which one would you choose and why? I choose Pipes uh, simply because it's the first story I've ever written. And uh, I feel that uh, uh, through writing it, I was introduced to writing. So I feel I, write, I owe my entire writing career to that specific story. What do you not want to miss out in your next trip to Mexico? Hanging out with the Rabasa brothers. You have become a cult figure in Mexico. Why do you think your stories connect perfectly well with uh, this country? Well, uh, Diego Luna uh, once told me that, uh, uh, that through reading my stories he feels that there is something very similar in, uh, in the Mexican and Israeli sensibility and th- that is the idea that uh, people live very tough and violent life but the, the other times they try to suppress and forget it and uh, if you be able to help them forget it they'll be your eternal friends and yet if you remind it to them they will be the shit out of you Uh, I think that you know that that uh, both Israel and Mexico are one of the tougher areas in the world to live in and yet when you go to both those countries you see many happy people and uh, too few people who are trying to to change the system and to make their country a better and more livable place so maybe there is something in this common sensibility that travels through the stories